warming my truck up right now it says it's 37 degrees but it feels colder and it's in april like what the hell it's almost may really but that's just the way weather is here but i'm gonna be helping out the uh the concrete people today digging out the footers and then i have to give that dirt to the pipe crew is yesterday all we were doing is just taking that big pile out to the left and put it in backing it up this pile behind me which you can see a little bit better right there hopefully you see the loader right there working a little bit but yep so we did yesterday because it rained as you can kind of tell by the puddles um it rained not yesterday but the day before rain i only worked to lunchtime i believe then we got off and then which lunchtime is basically like 11 so it was like right after lunch we left so right around 12 and then uh we went home and then came back and we had to wait for them to clean up the job a little bit to kind of dry it out so the trucks wouldn't mess anything up and then we just hauled that dirt over there to the pile behind us that's all we did that stockpile is crazy though not the highest stockpile i've ever been on but it's it's up there though because as you can kind of see it's way up there we had to back it up that way so yep as you can see way over there i don't even know what they're called they're like the drills that drill out the um like the for the pillars for the um for the building i don't know the name of them they just have drills on them and they drill out the little holes for the not really the footers but it's in the middle of the pad i don't know what they're called like i said i have no clue because i'm you know that's a different uh thing different company doing it so and that's not something that we do so i don't i'm not an expert on that yep it's just another day uh today's what wednesday i think yeah today's wednesday so and then friday thursday and then friday and then it's the weekend i work saturday and did that so i got a little bit over time about 56 hours yep because we get a uh, four tens one eight and then uh, another eight on saturday that's if we're not working 15s or anything or 12s or whatever. But, you know, as most know, at least the people that work in this type of industry, it slows down in the wintertime and then in the summer it starts picking back up. That's when companies usually start hiring and you can get a job easier and that's when you get your overtime a lot of the times that's when you know unless your winter is mild then that's a bit different or if you live in a state where you don't have winters that that's a you know a bit different scenario too i just can't wait till the warm weather though i mean the other day it was decently warm but it dropped back down Today's supposed to be, I think, in the 60s. Somewhere around that area. I forget. But, yeah, that's all I'm doing today. I might be able to get a little footage later. I don't know. It all depends on if I remember or not. Because knowing me, I sometimes get in my groove and, you know, watch. Or not really watch. It's more listen to YouTube and, you know, podcasts and stuff. And I forget to really film. And I don't film whenever I'm actually driving, but I do it more whenever I'm sitting around doing nothing. 
Because over here, they're really strict. I mean, they've been a little more lenient. The other jobs that I've been to with this certain GC, but this one's been pretty relaxed, at least this group, but it all depends. Because I've noticed, like, you know, even in the company I work for, if you deal with certain people, some people are a little more relaxed and lenient, and then the others are a little more, like, no, you got to do this, you got to do that. Like, for instance, some people can be, you know, come back late for lunch or have a later lunch or even just come in late on a regular work day or something like that. But then there's other foremans or other supers where, nope, that don't fly. Even though you don't really see the supers much. They only come whenever they need to come and they don't really bother you. But then again, you know, they're a step above your foreman, so they, you know, they tell your foreman more. At least with my company, they don't really come up to you and talk to you unless they really need to, or you really messed up. But that's enough of me talking and rambling. I'll try to show some footage here in a little bit. And now until this concrete people are ready, I'm bringing this stuff to the stockpile way up there. So that's what I'm doing right now. Until those people over there are ready. Until then, that's all I'm doing. Which it isn't a bad, you know, little backup anymore. Cause I don't have to go all the way up there anymore. It's more just right there. And that's what I was talking about right there. The, the freaking drillers. And drilling all that stuff. But yeah, now I'm back here getting the stuff for the concrete people that are digging the footers so I can bring it over there to the or to the dozer. Crazy how big those freaking Blades are to drill. It's crazy. For some odd reason, whenever the loaders are actually cutting up the dirt, there's something satisfying about it. Can't tell you exactly what it is, but whenever they're just coming up, you just see the dirt. To me, at least, I don't know about nobody else. Just seeing how it just cuts it all up and, you know makes it how it is and then I don't know how to explain it, it's weird. Been doing this for a while, so. <laughs> Those are some really big blades. It's like a big old drill. Not exactly sure what they're used for. I know they're drilling into the pad and then they got that, you know, they put uh, these things right there those cylindrical um, rebar contraptions inside of it. Like I said, I'm not like, you know, a part of it, so I don't know exactly what it means. I don't know what it's for exactly, except for the stability of the, you know, building. That's all I can think of. But maybe someone in the comments can let me know what it's actually for, because I don't know. I know that hose in the way they're digging footage right there. All the way down there. That's one big old hill. Yep, one big huge hill. That's where we're hauling it to though. 